So in this video, I will show you how I record my screen and the camera when I'm doing coaching calls as a multicam. And then with detail, I convert it to XML file. And then I show you how you can edit these multicam clips in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump right into it. So I have opened already detail here and you see me talking to the camera. So this is the main camera connected with the cam link. And then I want to record my screen. So this is how I do it here in detail, which is super cool. So now I have the screen and this is most of the the time the zoom meeting i or the google meeting screen which i record so i have my one in high quality from the camera and then the zoom meeting but most important i click here on detail and then settings i choose the video quality low which is a bit rate from 10 megabit medium is around 20 25 it means it's like 50 gigabytes per video session because it's like one hour to two hours long so with high the bit rate is around like 30 to 50 so it's like really blown up so i had this like a project with 200 gigabytes and like fuck. <laughs> so i keep it on low so this way it's only 20 to 25 gigabytes and I save it on my SSD. Once I recorded everything, then I opened the project here and this is a, a kind of coaching with John. Um, he was like showing me some stuff and I helped him with the strategy and marketing for his service. So we basically um, did this over Zoom. So I recorded the screen in Zoom and then I recorded myself like obviously here. And as you see, both sequence are here. So I don't want to edit it here. I can easily say like, okay, show me this screen here or the other screen. So I could edit everything there, but I want to export it. So what I do is I go to files and then I say export timeline, export source video as XML or Final Cut XML, but it's like for every program. So once you export this out, you get this files. So in the folder, I have always this project from detail and the XML file. Next, you go to DaVinci Resource, our favorite software. Then you open the panel here where you can create a new project. A new project is like test interview so we do this we open that so now it's everything is empty so what do you do next we go folder organization first we say 002 footage keep always organized your stuff so what you do next is right click you go on timelines import and xml so then when you find the location double click on it you say here resort but it's not really important it's just it uses the frame rate from your project file you set up before you go on off okay and that's all now you have me where are the other stuff so basically if you see here video file one video display file two the audios from both and this is the timeline and this is the multicam so here you can see the multicam edit so the timeline i usually copy out because that's i don't need i want to see always the timeline here so we're in the timeline now as you see here, this is the timeline. So now how do I see the multicam? So basically you click here and now you have two screens, but you still not see the timeline. So you click here and you choose multicam. Voila, basically you see my Johnny and the audio files. So now you can go through watching it and say like, okay, make a cut here. That's when Johnny is talking, make a cut here and so on. So that's the way you could do everything and you're done like you basically can edit the whole conversation get away with the breaks and go from one to the other and that's the easiest way to create these nice multicam clips and if you want to spice it up and let's say you want uh, johnny here and me similar to the zoom this little button um what you have to do then is literally go into this project here in the timeline and then you see the both video clips here and what i do mostly is i copy everything and I create a new timeline completely new. So leave all these settings like this. And then I paste it in here and I want me on top. Basically what I have now is this window myself on top. We need to remove the multicam because we not have a multicam anymore, but we have the audio lines synced. So then I have a black end circle from Mr. Alec Tag circle. And it is the shape one, this one. It is so good. I love this plugin. It is for free as well. So now I have me in the circle here. So all you have to do now is with this plugin, you choose where it should show up. Ignore what you see. So now we say like, I want to have the little mic there. And now where I am, I'm somewhere far away. So I need to choose this over video now. I say where the locations are. So now there's the beard from Mike. We go a little bit more down. Perfect. Now, there you are. 
this is Mike in the little round window. And now we're done. So basically I look to the left. I don't like this. So mostly what I do, I flip the screen and then um, I do a little bit adjustment again. So Mike is now there. Uh, it's perfect. So what I do next is mostly, as I know, this is the spot where I am. Um, I can also change the outline um, to whatever. Uh, this plugin is free. It's called Mr. Alex Tech. Shoot out to him. He is amazing. He's doing crazy tutorials and I really love the shape circle. It saves so much time. Once you have set up everything, what I do is create Eight, a compound clip so once i have this done now you see this is the circle and if i want to go up it's like oh shit the inside is changing but how can i change the whole thing so that's the reason why i say like create and compound clip so then it is all included and now you could say okay put me you know make a transition go from in and out uh, put me on top and now you have the whole tutorial or the zoom meeting like this and it's amazing and once you want to change their circle you just say open timeline and then you see mike is there okay head is cut off so i want to get me a little bit more down i want to have me a little bit whoops far away so everyone is seeing my whole body obviously no cut out uh, but you get it you know and once you go back to the timeline um you see mike completely and then you have this beautiful split screen the same you could do with him saying split screen accidentally is like you could do the same for like rating split screens so he's left he's right and that's like basically what you do is just have both screens as before i showed you like if you have both screens and then you just go to crop here uh, use the left crop and then you change the position where you want let's say like this and then you crop only until the middle part and then it's the same what you do with me now we want mike to the left side then the right side needs to get cut exactly here and now you have a really beautiful split screen super easy made super fast uh, that's why i love so much the multicam and that's why i use all the time detail i have a link in the description also or somewhere it's an amazing program it's um i think 150 bucks a year or 180 and um it is really good so even you could edit here as well um saying okay do this as a split screen and like a combo um then you say like okay make a split screen and choose here this is the fastest way, but I, I prefer to edit this in DaVinci Resolve. So now you have split screen here or you have split screen there. So this is the very quick way. So you could render out this way and then you edit in DaVinci. It's also possible, but I prefer to do everything in DaVinci and I want to have this with the circle. So that's basically a quick run over. What you do next, you know what to do is like you exporting and voila, everything is done, uploading it and enjoy creating content. And I hope I help you with this. If you have any questions, please let me know.